Recording, reconciling and paying VAT is an important task to all VAT registered businesses. If you haven't already, Sage Accounting must be authenticated with HMRC for making tax digital and you do this within settings and accounting dates and VAT. This must be completed before producing the first VAT return in accounting. To start a new VAT return, hover over reporting and click VAT returns. Now click create a VAT return. The dates are automatically populated based on the MTD link with HMRC. If there are transactions dated prior to this VAT period that were not included on a previous return, a prompt will appear. To check these transactions, click view prior period transactions. To reconcile your figures, use the detailed report provided. This report breaks down each box of the VAT return in order to a transactional level. To start checking transactions, select Detailed Report, then click PDF or CSV. The report automatically downloads and when it's ready, a notification on the menu bar will appear. To produce a PDF copy of the return, from the print drop down, select PDF. Then from your browser menu, choose to print it or save it. Alternatively, you could send this to Excel as a CSV file. The reported values in each box are based on the transactions entered and the VAT rate applied to each one. If you need to make any manual adjustments to your values based on the information you get from the report, use the adjust button. Use this per box on the VAT return, fill in the value you're adjusting and also the reason for the adjustment. If you do adjust the VAT return, transactions will be posted to your suspense account. Seek advice from your accountant to ensure this is correctly recorded in your data. A VAT return can be saved as a draft and accessed later to either continue reconciling or to be submitted. If you're partway through a VAT return and choose to exit accounting or exit the VAT return, this will automatically save for you. Please be aware if you have a transaction on a draft VAT return that's incorrect, you must delete the draft return before you can edit or delete that transaction in question. Once the transaction has been dealt with, the VAT return can be started again. Once the VAT return has been checked and is accurate, it must be submitted to HMRC using the buttons on the right and following the on-screen prompts. You cannot amend a VAT reconcile transaction or an entire VAT return as they've been submitted to HMRC so are classed as final. If there's an incorrect transaction included on a finalised return, it can be corrected by posting the reverse of the transaction, for example a credit note to counteract the effects of an incorrect invoice. This correction will appear on the next VAT return.